touch base on Joe Coy's performance last week. I didn't think, mm. I'll just start off in saying, I didn't think, uh, uh, what, I didn't think he did that bad as much as and me and Mark and Rachel um, already had like a discussion about this. Like, um, there, like, this, it was too sensational, too dramatic of the media saying he bombed and all that stuff. And for me, it was more for clickbait. So like, oh, this comedian bombs versus like no one really cared for it to watch the Golden yeah. Globes. It was it was nine million and eight million of those. I'm joking. Eight million of those are Filipinos <laughs> that were watching. And so I think Joe Coy did a fine job. You know, we can we can obviously I'll let everyone jump in and, you know, it. It's an overall win. He got publicity. He's been doing numerous um, interviews. And so I'll let everyone um, take their two cents with Joe Coy's performance. You know, I, I think he is, uh, because of that um, yeah, uh, event or incident, I think he became more, he has become more popular and more well-known. And he's, he's going to get a lot of offers. He's going to get a lot of invitations. And this is very, very positive for him, in spite of those people who had given a negative critics of him. I think he did a good job. Not I, I think he's pretty beloved. I mean, a lot of comedians came out and said, you know, this guy's actually really funny and he might have had a bit of an off night. I think it's, it seemed like his rhythm was off. And maybe because he only had 10 days to prepare. I mean, sometimes... People can come in and say, you got to toss this joke. You got to toss it. I mean, if, if he was still, we don't know. I don't, I don't know if he was still cutting jokes up to the day of, and it was a, his, his rhythm wasn't what it can be, but I think he's so beloved that this is going to catapult him to the next success and people will cheer for him all the more because of it. Because yes, he's, he's, I he's agree. Yeah. Well, just, sure, just, think, just think of it this way. Yeah, just think of it this way. Joko is a, uh, performance good or bad uh, funny or not funny just made him more famous but around the world i think it was 3.1 billion viewers mm -hmm. looked at that uh, uh, globe uh, awards and also the funny thing too is i was watching the uh, critics critics award and there are no comedians <laughs> for some reason <laughs> Hey, there was only uh, a, a couple that introduced the show, and that's it. Yeah, it's, it's not great. easy to make people laugh, yeah. and I think he made them laugh. Yeah. You know, uh, there was uh, uh, somebody in Facebook that was really attacking him. The name, a movie star or something, did a whole, last name is All, did the whole, and I answered one, one, one of her posts, and... Um, even some Filipinos are being negative about it, but I think he did a good job. He did a great job. Yeah. Deidre Hall, is she still around? Isn't she like 100 yeah, years she old? she has a Facebook and she like, oh, you know, she did a lot. She's trying to, she was trying to influence a lot of people that don't, don't watch the Golden Globes again. And then there was I, one, you know, woman who says, I don't want to see uh, Joe Boy host the Golden Globes again. And I say, I want to see him oh, um, yeah. host even the Emmy Award. Or people the, people uh, will root for him when, when he performs again, and people because he's just he's just a nice guy, and so he's he's somebody that I mean his career is is just going to go right back up. But uh, I, I thought the Taylor Swift joke was not only a, a totally appropriate joke; I thought it was funny. I just think yeah. that he's he's getting the death stare from the audience from hell. So uh, I mean, I wouldn't want to host that award. I mean, the money, well, sure. What what was wrong when he said, "Oh, uh, Taylor Swift was getting more uh, camera, you know, focus on her when she she attends it's the right. NFL, uh, and he, after, you yeah. know, rather than the Golden Globes, which is true. What is wrong with that? What is not true about that? It, mm -hmm. And it was not maybe not you so know, funny. But you can't tease her about her relationship with a celebrity. It's just such a joke. You're going to date a professional football player, but then you don't want anyone to make jokes about it. I mean, come on. So she takes her <laughs> seriously. Yes. Yeah. What were your thoughts? So you guys had to talk about it, or did you? Uh, well, you watched it together. What you guys? Other thoughts? Uh, oh. But, yeah, we he's were not, there. You know what? He's not controversial. That's why I thought I didn't realize that. He, he was controversial. I said, oh, cool, Joe Coy. Uh, honestly, as an outsider, I was thinking, like, because I've been following Joe Coy for years, 
And I thought, he's never said anything controversial. So I thought, okay, he's kind of a safe bet for Hollywood. And he's all his awesome. jokes, yeah, his jokes are like non-controversial. So when they made it, like it seems to snowball after that. Because when me, Mitch, and Mark were talking about it, I didn't, I honestly wasn't paying attention. And I, didn't, I was like, well, I didn't see anything wrong with it. And then the Taylor Swift um, comment or joke was actually probably his, the funniest, to be honest. And because it was just poking fun at the NFL and, you know, the Chiefs and whatever. But um, I don't know why she would find that offensive because that's been an ongoing joke with everyone. And mm-hmm. I, I just didn't think that was going to be anything. But for the, now Kelsey's, uh, Travis Kelsey's mom's coming out saying that she, uh, he should apologize for what? Rachel, I don't, know, like, I don't know if that is, I think that's fake news, to be honest. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but but still, yeah. If that were the case, that would be. But you know, uh, I want I want to pick up on something uh, Rachel said. Uh, you know, really, it was this Taylor Swift brouhaha that actually uh, yeah. made Joe Coy like a household name now. Yeah. So thank you, Taylor Swift, yeah. for your <laughs> inability to laugh at yourself because you you know you actually took what I believe was a very mediocre performance. I've seen Joe Coy do better, Mm -hmm. okay? Um, It's probably the nerves. It's probably the fact that he was on a big stage. But you know what I really like is Joe Coy came out with a statement, I think, today that was just like, hey, you know, what's the big deal? And I'm like, that's finally the right response. I think he kind of went back and forth. And, you know, for me, including the Easter Sunday movie, um, I really felt that, you know, Joe in the last few years has been trying too hard to please the masters of Hollywood. And I think this needed to happen on a personal level because I think that now (laughs) he's seeing who is his base, who are the people that really love him. It's the, you know, his fan base. And he needs to own that and be himself and just laugh it off. And when I saw that, I said, oh, that's a different, a reversal from, you know, some of his more apologetic comments the past, the few days before. Own it, my man. Own yeah, it. You I you agree. rock. You don't he not come, need. He should come out swinging. He had Steven Spielberg yeah. in the audience, and that he paid for his movie. So uh, all of those people, he let himself. Don't it? Don't defer to them. Go out and punch them all verbally yeah. with with uh, jokes. Right. I, mean, I think right. You're better out. than that. You got a fan base, and most of these comedians don't have fan bases. So mm-hmm. treasure your fan base. Do what people uh love you for versus trying to please these hollywood masters that have no sense of humor anyways